Shalom, Akim, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salute to sincere Akim out there of the hopeful elect. All right. And um, the entitlement of this video is going to be called uh, Being Labeled Black is Worse Than Being Called Nigger. Okay. Because, um, you know, you, you got um, a lot of people who get offended at the word, the N word. Okay. Um, in which the so-called white man used he he uh, used it in a negative way because it became stigmatic, with um with belittling our people when um <clears throat> when that's when when the word when the word nigger or niger actually is in the Bible it's found in the scriptures, okay. But being called black is um I find that to be wor worse. You know, I, I I get more offended when um when people call us black, you know, and that's from years of being in this truth and understanding the meaning of words and um and you know ha being blessed with this knowledge and wisdom that was given from on high uh, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah through the apostles through the teachings of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right, um you know the, the word black. You know, when people, when people label us black, you know, it's commonly accepted by our people. You know, you have the black conscious community. You have Black Lives Matter, all right? You have, um, remember James Brown came out with the song Black and I'm Proud, okay? But um, being black is, 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 is totally negative, man, all right? And our people, they, um, they, accept, they accept being called black, they believe that they are black, you know, when our skin complexion, when it comes to the color black, our skin complexion is not black at all. You know, I mean, it's just it's straight up common sense. You can ask any child uh, to look at uh, uh, the complexion of a person, of a so-called black person, dark skinned person or whatever, and they will tell you that that person is brown. They will, they will tell you that straight up and down. Even children know that. All right. So how is it that we become to accept the uh, being labeled as black? You know, that was basically used against us in um, in slavery, all right? And I believe it wasn't until the um, I forget exactly what year it was, somewhere around in the eighteen hundreds, I believe. Um, the apostles they've done they've done videos on it, you know, going into when when people were being labeled white. White people, so-called white people, were labeling themselves as white people, and they labeled us as black people, which, like I stated, is um, is actually a negative, a negative word, man. You know. All right, and um, but you know our people, are, the scriptures tell you our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So um, you know our people are they will accept being black and they're proud to be black, unfortunately. All right, but um, you know I got a uh, couple of scriptures I'm gonna bring out. This this is Deuteronomy 28 and 37. It reads, "And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee." All right. Now Deuteronomy the 28th chapter deals with the blessings and the curses. Okay, from the from the 15th verse on down to the 68th verse. Dealing with curses that were before the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? In verse 37, I'm going to read it again. It says, And thou shalt become an astonishment. Who is that talking about? That's talking about the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. We have become an astonishment unto the other nations, man, because of these curses that befell us for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah which is the heavenly father and who the world ignorantly calls Christ, okay? It says a proverb and a byword among all nations where the Lord shall lead thee, okay? So we become that byword. We become a proverb and we become a byword, all right? Okay? Um, in the eyes of all the nations, they can clearly see that our people are cursed. You know, we can't, we, 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 we can't, uh, we can't gain equality or or, or, or or succeed 
in this society. You know, we're constantly being oppressed and um and ridiculed. Okay, and we are second, third class citizens, no matter where we at, scattered upon the earth. All right, and these people got all these little slick words that they label our people, man. Especially the so-called Negroes here in America. You know, from being spades, jigaboos, coons, niggers, black, which you people accept to see everything else that I just that I just said. J uh, jigaboo, spade, and, and and all of that. Though you you you, you Jakes, you take that as uh, as a negative term, terminology towards our people, which those are by words, all right. But you don't equate black being labeled black as one of those words either, okay? Because like I said, you you Jakes are proud to be black, man. You know, you try to make something negative. And, and, and use it as a term of endearment Just like you flip the n-word The word, the word nigga Alright You know you, uh, for, 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 for centuries you despised that word Our ancestors were being whipped Called niggas You know basically uh, It's associated with being belittled A term of belittlement Okay To the slave masters And white class society all right, um, looking down on you, on you, Jakes, as servants and second, third class citizens. Okay, so you hate the word nigga, but then you do hip hop and entertainment, gang culture, comedy, um, Hollywood. You know your favorite celebrities use the word because it's been passed down through slavery. Okay. So it, it just became a, f a frequent term. Yo, my nigga. Yo, what's going on, nigga? You know, it's the people, you know, our people have um, learned to embrace the N-word. Okay, but they won't let nobody outside of their uh, race, you know, anybody who's not a so-called black man can't apply that word unto them or they'll get offended at it. All right? Which is understandable because we're not any of these words, to be quite honest. Okay, we're actually Israelites from your respective tribe. Okay, and you so-called black men here in America, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Okay? So you flipped the N-word and made it, and you know, and, 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 and bigged it up and made it a term of endearment to the point where you have white people in the suburbs calling themselves niggas. All right? The N-word or whatever. Okay? And um, and you know the word the N word can be used as a term of hate speech, as well. But the word black is worse than the N word. Okay, I find it to be worse than the N word. Okay, there's no way you could flip the word black into making it something positive. All right, and when we when we look up the definition of of black. Okay, but these are you know but these are the bywords. These are part of the curses that befell upon our people, man. You know these bywords, and all of the nations have their own little terms that they that they uh that they call you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans here in America, but namely the so-called Negro, the, the tribe of Judah, right? A lot of you think you're Africans when Africans uh refer to us as cottas, meaning cotton cotton picking niggers, okay? Because the Africans. Uh, they know that it is a distinct dis, uh, a distinction between you, Jakes, here in America, and um and you people out in in the people out there in Africa, the Hamites, the real Hamites, okay. I mean, because you got some Jakes out there in Africa as well, all right. But then, but then in, in the interiors of Africa, you have a lot of the, the Kemetic people, man, real Hamites that don't deal with Jake. And they look down upon Jake, and they don't want—they don't want anything to do with you, you Jakes, you uh, so-called African Americans, because they—they they, because they know that their spirit uh, cannot connect with yours, man. All right. So you know these other nations—they have these little slick terms that they throw out there at our people as a term to belittle us. 
And these are bywords, man, including the word black. All right? Uh, this is, the, this is uh, from lexico.com, the definition of the word black. All right? Now, I don't know how many of you brothers seen the movie Malcolm X that, that uh, Spike Lee did back in the 90s, early 90s. You know, when um when uh, Malcolm X went to prison, and one of the, you know this is when he became inducted into the um Nation of Islam, you know Muslim learning you know learning about the black Muslims in prison, which black Muslims ain't nothing but a prison gang, all right, but um but um he was but he was told to look up the definition of white and to look up the definition of black, and you know I think it was in the Merriam-Webster's dictionary, and the definition of white was innocent, pure, you know, um, everything positive, okay? And the definition of black was wicked, evil, and everything negative, okay? And, and that's exactly what, what it stems from. And that is the true definition of those two words, okay? All right? Uh, so this is the definition of black. According to lexical.com, you know, which is more modern, up to date definition, all right, but it still stems from the same, from the um, from the same original definition, okay. It says of the very darkest color, owing to the absence or of or complete absorption of light, the opposite of white, all right. Now, light has a lot to do with wisdom, wisdom and knowledge. And understanding okay so when you say the absence uh, the absence of light that means that means people who are um, that would mean people who are dumb who are stupid all right who lack knowledge people who lack wisdom and that's what the so-called white man uh, put that label black on on you people on you Jake's because you lack wisdom, you lack knowledge, you lack understanding. You don't know who you are. You don't know your true nationality. At one time, you did know that you were an Israelite. At one time, you knew that you was of the tribe of Judah. You knew that the Lord was a black, so-called black man, that the Heavenly Father is a so-called black man, all right? And that you you descended from a royal people. But the so-called white man stripped that knowledge from you, stripped that wisdom from you, that light from you. And labeled you black, okay? Because you, because most of you, you jakes are in darkness, man. All right. You have other um. You have other definitions, right? This one says one point two says deeply stained with dirt, and it puts it in a sentence. His clothes were absolutely black, deeply stained with dirt. Okay, so it means dirty. All right. Uh. Let me see some other definitions. 1.5. Of or denoting the suits, spades, and clubs in the deck of cards. And that's why a lot of you jakes were called spades. All right? They used to call you spades. Actually, you even had a gang back in the um, 60s and the 70s up in the Bronx. You know, in different parts of New York City as well. You know, before the gang's culture started in, in, evolving into the hip-hop culture. But you had a big gang called the Black Spades back in the days, man. And the word spade was a was a um a term of negativity used to 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 belittle black people, so-called black people. All right? So-called because people call us black, but that's not our true nationality. Right? Just like the so-called white man, he's not really white. In all reality, when you look at these devils, the so-called white man, they're actually pink and they're actually red. You know, they they they're different shades of red, you know, from a light pink complexion. Because of the paleness of their skin, which they suffer from leprosy, according to the scriptures, all right, and um, all the way to a deep dark red. You know, when these devils be out there in the sun, they bake in the sun too long, they turn deeper, they turn deeper red, all right. So they're not white. There's nothing white, pure, or innocent, or or special about the so-called white man, but he called himself white, all right. <clears throat> uh. Let me see. See, they put all uh, two. 
definition number two, also black, belonging to, belonging to or denoting a human group having dark colored skin, especially of sub-Saharan African ancestry, which is all BS, man. Because in the beginning, in the beginning, especially when you read the scriptures, go to the book of Genesis, all right? Matter of fact, we'll get that real quick. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. It says, In the Lord, in the Lord Yahweh formed man of the dust of the ground. All right? Formed man of the dust of the ground. In the ground of earth, earth tone is brown. All right? There's no black soil. It's different, it's different shades of brown. Okay? It says, In the Lord Yahweh formed man of the dust of the ground, meaning the dirt. Okay. All right, which is which is uh, which is brown. You know, you have the top soil. The deeper you go, dig into the earth, it it it, 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 it gets you know, especially the, the 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 um the parts of the earth that have fertile land. All right, it's all dark brown, all dark brown. All right, and that's the complexion of the the people of the world, man. Not just the so-called uh black man or the people from Africa okay but um go out there to, to to Southeast Asia Thailand Vietnam Cambodia all right uh Laos and all of that you'll see dark-skinned Asians out there with the with the chinky eyes and all of that man go to India Pakistan you see dark-skinned coolies out there man all right so the original color of all men is dark brown okay so it doesn't have nothing to do with just sub-saharan africa but that's how the so-called white man likes to, to play on words man okay all right so it says um it says relating to black people all right denoting or relating to a person of australian aboriginal origin or descent okay so you know they they so all of the other nations they call them they call them black people but in all reality we're brown people Pe the people are brown according to the scriptures man all right the only oddball on the planet earth is the so-called white man whose whose pigmentation has been stripped of him which is leprosy and you can see the blood showing forth through his skin through his translucent skin and that's why he's red and according to the scriptures his um that's why he was named uh, Esau, Aishashua in the Hebrew, which means wasted away is he. And, he, and his name was changed to Edom, Adawam, which means red, okay? So Esau, Aishashua, which means wasted away is he because the Lord stripped his pigmentation from him, all right? His skin was wasted away, his pigmentation. And, um, and, 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 and he appeared to be red. Okay, so his name was ch changed to Edom, Adawam in the Hebrew, which means red. All right, they're the only people that's like that on the face of the earth, man. Okay, the Aborigines of Australia are dark skinned people, the Hamites are dark skinned people, the Moabites, the Ammonites, all right, the, 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 the Elamites, they're all dark skinned people, man. The Israelites are dark skinned people, so called white man running around claiming to be a Jew. He's, they're not the real Jews. Now this video might get taken down. All right? Like they took my last video down. Okay, but um... Uh, definition number three. It says, of a period of time or situation characterized, characterized by tragic or disastrous events causing despair and, pessim and pessimism. All right? Yeah. That's 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 exactly what the word black means. See, some some people, you know, Jake's so simple. They'll look at this and say, "Oh man, that means uh, you know, I don't like these definitions of black," you know, because you know, because they they because they look at themselves as being black because they were brainwashed to believe that they were black. When, like I said, black means negativity. It's, it's telling you that it's characterized by tragic and disastrous events. All right, that's why people wear um. Uh, black at during funerals it's a, it's a sign of uh being being in, in misery okay 
in, in being um, depressed, all right? Uh, 3.1, it says of a person's state of mind, full of gloom or misery, very depressed, all right? 3.3 says full of anger or hatred. Now, 3.4, the archaic definition of it, says very evil or wicked, okay? And that's what the so-called white man calls you black and you know subconsciously you know deep in your in, in your spirit that black is um is nothing positive about that there's nothing positive about being called black right uh remember you had kendrick lamar said don't call me black no more all right because you know he started getting wind of the israelites and and and, and hip to the lessons in israel all right you know he know he knows that he's um an Israelite of the tribe of Judah, so you know you Jakes out there that love to use the term black as a um term of endearment. You know you get you need to snap out of that man. Come back to your nationality, man. You know I I I I think the label black is worse than um uh, being called a nigga. Okay, matter of fact, ended ended on this, this is Acts the thirteenth chapter, uh verse one. It says, now they were in the church that was at Antioch, certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon that was called neither. All right? You get the term nigger from. All right? Which actually means black. So even back even back in the ancient world, you had uh, Jake's calling themselves black. Because a person that's real dark brown, you might you, you probably refer to him as black. You got a lot of friends. I have, I'll speak for myself. I have um, friends that have the same names. Right? You might have a friend named Tony, right? I know a guy named Tony, uh, light skin tone, we call him white tone, and then dark skin tone, we call him black tone, right? And you got my man Damien, Puerto Rican Damien, we call him Puerto Rican D or Damien, and then I have another friend uh, that's Jamaican, we call him black Damien because he's dark skin, all right? But he's not really black, you know, not black like tar. No, that's another term the devil used to call us tar babies, man. All right. So you had Aunt, you had um Simeon, who was called Niger because he's obviously a dark skin, he's dark skin um a uh, prophet or teacher during the time of the the Acts of the Apostles. Okay. So you know this this video is just basically you know just I'm just putting it out there. You know don't take kindly to the word to the term being called black, all right? Like I said, that's the most negative word that was placed upon our people, man. You know, a lot of you people, oh, but the N-word, the N-word is such a bad word. Yeah, it is a bad word. You know, it is a word that, you know, because we're not, we're not niggas at the end of the day either, okay? You have to come back to your true nationality, knowing and understanding that you're an Israelite. You come from royal stock, all right? But, um, but the term black, that's the worst. That's that is the worst, man. The most hateful term that I feel was placed upon our people, man. All right. So I'm gonna end this video on that note. I'm gonna say shalom, wabarakum to you brothers out there. Uh, see you in the next video, Lord willing.